He's got a bad foot. He just, he's, he's, uh, he sprained it. He's re-sprained it. Not a big deal. Coach, anything with Trey Mitchell, or is it not playing in the second half, or was it due to him being in foul trouble? He's got, he got in foul trouble, and it was a bad matchup. How do you, how do you adjust midway through the game on guarding somebody like Zach Eady, rotating through all the all the bigs you have, all we your depth? Have to. We 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 spent two weeks working on guarding. Why would we have to make an adjustment if we had we had two weeks two weeks to get ready for them? We have three guys. We had three guys we plan on rotating uh, on and off them. We we shouldn't have had to. After, after last week, you start off 4-0, Eric Stevenson mentions getting punched in the face. No, nobody's, been able to, no, nobody's been able to punch you guys in the face yet. And then come in today at Purdue. Just what do you take away, what do you take away from the loss? What, what, what's going forward with your team? Um, well, we were 4-0 because we were just, we were better. We didn't. We still didn't execute the way we need to execute. We we have turned the ball over at a very alarming rate, and we refuse to rebound it. And so when you you know when you play against good people and you don't rebound it, you don't get second shots, you don't get second opportunities. They got they got multiple second opportunities. We did not. They didn't throw the ball out of bounds like we did, or throw it at people's feet like they, like we did. You're not going to win. We got away with it because we were just so much better than who we were playing. Anything else, guys? Thanks, guys. Yeah.